Hi, Jody here from Action Coach. I wanted to share a story with you uh, from one of my clients who has a pretty good sized business that's working with events in the cruise industry. And as you know, that just like, psh, like precipitous drop over the last week. They were here in the office on Friday afternoon with the team looking at what can we do? We were brainstorming what can we do when business drops off that way? So a couple other things. First of all, we looked inside of their sandbox, meaning the industry that they're in, and what were the sectors in that industry that were gonna still remain viable that they could then offer products or services to. Next, they look at what are the new sectors that they could penetrate, and then what past projects or customers could they re-engage. Then we went and looked at the outside of their industry and what could they offer parallel businesses that were core competencies of theirs that they could then offer as a product or service outside of their specific industry. Next, we looked at outside of the sandbox, yet affiliated. They were looking at what's not being done or not being done well inside of parallel industries. They were looking at what is it that we could offer to the industry right now? How can we serve our industry, the industry as a whole right now? And then lastly, what do our customers need at this time that we could provide? The next section that we looked at was outside of our playground side hustles. They came up with a plethora of really, really great ideas uh, that would be proprietary to them. But the question was, what are we good at as a team? We use their Strength Finders grid to actually identify areas of competencies within the team and with their long history in the industry of over 30 years, and many of the team members having been there for quite some time, what were the core competencies that they could offer? For instance, if the cruise industry needed to outsource uh, help in rebooking, this is something that they're obviously really good at. Then they asked themselves, what does our world need that we could do and earn money immediately? And lastly, what are things that we could add to our product and service offering that would be viable for the long term? And, and then how do we conserve cash? And all ideas were welcome. So I share this with you because as I said at the onset, they walked away with somewhere between 20 and 25 winning moves that they could implement right away. And I just got off of the phone with the owner of this business and she was telling me that they were putting those things into action right now and then distributing the rest of the ideas that they came up with in the different categories. So I encourage you to actually take the time to sit with us and do this critical thinking so that you can map out a plan of action for the coming days, weeks, and perhaps months to keep your business floating and ultimately thriving. That's it for today. Lots of love.